You know what? Excellence is what you want. And excellence is what you get. How are you living? What are you giving? If excellence is what you see, then excellent is who you be. What are you pursuing? It's all up to you when. When you come and make up in your mind that you want. Hello, 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 beloved. Dr. Catherine E. James here, bringing you For the Love of It, a weekly show designed with the sole purpose of adding more love into the world, one episode at a time. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing your precious time with me. I am grateful for you to join us, whether you join us now, live, or later, as you tune into the broadcast replay, I am absolutely grateful. So you'll notice some numbers that will appear at the bottom because I love engagement. Love it, love it, love it. So I encourage you to call for you to dial in to any one of those numbers that are listed below. For the love of it, we'll take on many forms. We just don't ever know what Papa has in store for us. Everything, however, will be anchored in Luke 10:27. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, strength, soul, mind, and your neighbor as yourself. It is my life intention for every soul to know love and know that they are loved. To that end, every conversation we facilitate, all the tools and strategies we share, the guests we have on the show, and the activities we invite you to take are all intended to lead you and I to live the assumption of 10, Luke 10, 27, that we will love ourselves first and from that place that we will love others and that we will continually love ourselves so that we always have an overflow to pour out unto others. So, David Thoreau, he said, If one advances confidently in the direction of their dreams and endeavors to live the life which he or she has imagined, they will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. They will put some things behind, will pass an invisible boundary, new, universal, and more liberal laws will begin to establish themselves around and within him. Or the old laws be expanded and interpreted in his favor in a more liberal way, and he will live with the license of a higher order of being. So I started off by saying they, and then I realized I was reading a poem, I was reading a quote, and and David Thoreau said he, not they. So think about that. And I love this idea that if one, if one, when one, when we advance confidently in the direction of our dreams, when we endeavor to do that, when we make a decision that we are going to move forward productively in the direction of our dreams and our and, and endeavor to live the life which we have imagined. Now, let me just say, imaginations is one of the greatest gifts that we've received from the creator of the universe, one of the greatest gifts that we've received from God. Through our imagination, we can go anywhere, we can do anything, we can become anyone. And do you know that everything that exists has always existed twice? First, in someone's imagination, and then materialized into the world. Nothing exists that didn't first exist in imagination. So we don't wanna sleep on imagination. I'm just saying we don't wanna sleep on this thing called imagination. So um, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. Y'all know we've been talking about quantum leap and quantum leap is our ability to do that which is uncommon to do that which is unexpected, to not go the common right, um, the common route of step by step by step, but to miss some, 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 
some platforms, some leaps to miss some some um, uh, streets and roads and processes that you would have had to take if you took the common route. So he will put some things behind. What do you need to leave behind, beloved? What do you need to release and relinquish? What do you need to let go? He will put some things behind. We'll pass an invisible boundary. Look, we've got some boundaries set up in our mind. Do you? Have you ever thought about that? We've got some boundaries set up in our mind. We will press past those invisible boundaries that, that, that we've accepted, that we've accepted. Because the, the reality of it is no one can bind us be, just because they, they've decided to. Folk can't bind us. We have to bound ourselves. Um, a new universal, new universal and more liberal laws will begin to establish themselves around and within him and her. New universal and more liberal laws. So that which we have previously limited ourselves to, we're no longer limited to that. We now are available for the new. All right. The old laws will be expanded and interpreted in favor in a more liberal sense. And he will live with the license, okay, of a higher order of beings. So I, I had been hearing that quote, only the first part of it. And then when I looked it up, because it began to truly resonate with my soul, the rest of it is, is just as powerful as the beginning. So how do we do this? How do we advance confidently in the direction of our dreams? How do we make those things happen? How do we move in, in that kind of um, progress for our life? How do we make that progress? So all week long on my live, so if you... If you've never followed me online, I invite you to join me on my social media every Monday through Friday from 5.40 to 6 a.m. I am live on Facebook. So um, simply click, um, tune in to Dr. Catherine E. James on Facebook and you would be able to find my lives. So all week long, I've been talking about this notion of clarity plus inspired actions equal clarity you've got to get a clear vision of what it is that you are to do in the earth clarity plus inspired actions equal manifestation of that which only you can bring into the earth when you get clear and and this is that notion of leaning into the dream that Papa has dreamt for you. It's that notion of tapping into the source of all that is, the creator of all that is. Before I knew you, I formed you, says the word of God. Before I knew you, I formed you, and I I, I, I destined you to, I'm, I'm squirting that wrong. Um, and so he called us, right, to purpose and to destiny. And so we have the responsibility of being in inspired actions and walking it out. If we simply sit around and imagine, if that's all we do, then we have no manifestation. No manifestation. Nothing happened just because we imagined it so. It happened because we imagined and then we were in action. Scripture says, faith without works is dead. There is no manifestation. There is no materialization of that which you dreamed. We can dream forever until agnosium. We could dream, but if we're not in actions, the dream has no manifesting power in and of itself. Beloved, you have to move. You have to do something. You have to go somewhere. You got to talk to someone. You've got to write it out and then bring the materials to put it together. You've got to do something. And it doesn't matter so much what you do. Initially, it matters that you are in action. Because as long as you are aligned and spending time in, in the presence of the Most High, your actions will align with the dream. They will address. But 
If you're not in action, nothing happens because it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay. That's how we learn. We make mistakes. We, I talk about this from a toddler's perspective all the time. Toddlers fall over and over and over and over again. Two things never happen from a toddler falling. One, we never say to a toddler, oh, just stay down there. You're never going to, you're never going to learn to walk. You might as well give it up. But I think we say that to ourselves and to other adults, other, other, other folk who are beyond toddler stage, right? The toddler never says to him or herself, I might as well give up. I I have fallen. I've been falling since I was born. (laughs) It is ludicrous, right? It is ludicrous. I've been falling since I've been born. I might as well give this thing up. Hmm. What would it be like, beloved, to live the kind of life where we take the attitude of the toddler in this case that sets your sights on what you want. In this situation, the toddler wants to walk. They want to be able to move freely. They don't want to be limited to an apparatus to help them walk. They don't want to be limited to another human being to help them walk. They want to see a shiny thing and go get it themselves. I'm just saying. What would it be like to to have that passionate drive within your very being. I want to see a shiny thing and go get it myself. I want to see a shiny thing and, and, and make it. I want to climb to a height that I've never been before. I want to see from a purview. I want to see from a level, from a perspective that was heretofore not available for me. I want to experience what I've not experienced, do what I've not done. I want to see what I haven't seen. I want to be able to, to, to obtain what I previously have not been able to obtain. And beloved, I can't do it if I stay down here crawling. That's a pom-pom moment. I'm just saying. I can't do it if I stay down here crawling. I've got to get up and walk. I wish I knew the quote by, by King, and I don't know it, but if you can't walk, then you run. If you can't walk, then you crawl. If you can't crawl, then you something. Something he says. That quote would fit perfectly right there, but I don't know it. So go on and say it for yourself. Google it, look it up, and then say it for yourself. Insert right here. <laughs> Dr. King's quote that tells us to keep moving no matter how we got to move. Okay. So if we could take lessons from a toddler, if you would dare endeavor, the toddler never, ever, ever says to themselves, I might as well give up. If you, beloved, would advance confidently, I will walk one day. I will be able to climb on that sofa one day. I will be able to get up in my own chair one day. I will be able to walk into another room one day, right? I can see the toddler's mind. I'm going on my own one day. If one would advance confidently in the direction of their dreams and endeavor to live the life which you have imagined, what are you imagining, beloved? What are you spending your time thinking about, talking about, giving energy to, focusing on? Where are you? Advance confidently in the direction of your dreams. Do you know there is no way to lose out on your dream? There is no way for it to not manifest. If you have done some prerequisite things, if you have, 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 have aligned with Papa, and you have connected to the dream that he's dreamt for you. So he's already prepared the way. He's already made the resources available. He has already positioned you and repositioned you to fulfill the dream. Don't you know that clarity plus inspired actions will equal the materialization of that which only you can bring forth into the earth? Clarity. You got to get clear. And the only way that we get clear is we spend time in the presence of the Most High. You got to spend time in silence. You got to spend time just in meditation and prayer. Those kinds of things, right? Those kind of, um, what do we call those? Or practices. I forget what we call them. But anyway, we've got to spend time <laughs> doing those kinds of, the disciplines. The discipline, the spiritual disciplines. We've got to spend time there. So, what has the potential to stop the realization of living 
with the license, the legal permission given to you by the only one who can give the legal permission for you to be you. Can't nobody give permission for you to not be you but you. Nobody but you because he who created you has already given you a license to be you. Has already um, <laughs> deputized, for lack of a better word, has already um, given you the authority to be you. So you're the only one who can stop you from being you. So what has the potential to stop this realization of living with the license of a higher order of being? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to be a higher order of yourself? Quote, there could be no greater contribution to humanity than doing your own inner work. Because that's the only thing that can stop us, is not doing our own work. We will stop because nobody showed up. We'll stop because nobody's clicking on my videos. We'll stop because somebody said you didn't sound good. We'll stop because mm, they said they didn't like my version of macaroni and cheese, right? We'll stop because no one said that, that they enjoyed the speech that I gave. We will stop because of other things. What people say, don't say, do, don't do. We will stop because it looked like somebody didn't like what we, come on now. Advance confidently in the direction of your dreams. We will stop. We will give up on our own dream. Because nobody can stop you but you. Papa's already done his part. You already got the goods. You already have what it takes to show up. It's already prepared for you. All we need to do is say yay and amen. Here I am, Lord. I'm available to serve in the way that only I can serve. So look, call in. We still have a few minutes where you can call in. We can have a conversation. We can talk about anything you want to talk about, including what we are talking about. So that which allows us to understand ourselves on a deeper level and experience true freedom and lasting happiness is the inner work. That which allows ourselves, allows us to understand ourselves on a deeper level and experience true freedom and lasting happiness is the inner work. If you are not moving in the direction of your dream, advancing in the direction of your dream, if you're sitting on the sideline of this thing called life, if you find yourself kind of in a groundhog's day, doing the same thing day after day after day after day, I invite you to do some inner work. I invite you to better understand who you are. I invite you to go deeper and deeper into you. I invite you to, to what is the word? I invite you to unearth the happiness that is already resident within you. Happiness is not, let me just say something. Happiness is not something we go get. Happiness is not on the outside of us. Happiness is not something that somebody or something else can give to us. Happiness has been with us from the beginning of time. Have you ever seen somebody under five, right? Somebody under five. You don't have to encourage them to be happy. Like they run into things and they dissatisfied and they might fuss or whatever, but they are in, es in at the essence happy. They don't know to not be happy. They don't know to have a reason to not be happy. All right, we've got a caller. Caller, you're on the line? You're on the air? Hi, this is your frequent flyer, Devere. Hey, frequent flyer, Devere. So good to have you. <laughs> Hi. Oh, what's going on? The reason why I'm calling, I was thinking about you're in a building. You're on the 50th floor. You get on the elevator, and you're on your way down. And on the 40th floor, a group of young entrepreneurs get on. Let's say ages 18 to 20. And they recognize you. What words of encouragement would you give this group of young entrepreneurs as you're going down on the elevator. Oh yeah, I would I would say to them I would actually invite them to 
think, look at themselves and say if they're in their 20s, what would mm -hmm. they, I would tell them, what would you have said to your 10 year old? I would ask them to think about what they would have said to their 10 year old self, right? What would they yeah. have told, what would they have told their 10 year old self? Because there was some, there were some things that their 10 year old experienced that they absolutely know at a, as a 20 year old, they didn't have to experience that. There were some ways that there, there's some, there were some limitations that their 10 year old gave them that they didn't do. Like they might've wanted to talk to somebody. They might've wanted to go and play. They might've wanted to be on a team, but they told themselves that they couldn't. So I would first of all say to them, what would you say to that 10 year old now? What permissions would you give them that you didn't give yourself at 10 years old? Give yourself those permissions now. Make sure you're giving yourself those permissions now. That's the first thing I would say to them. And then the second thing I would say to them is for them, for, first of all, I would send them to my videos. Make sure you love yourself. Make sure you work on that. Give your, because to the degree that you love yourself, then you don't have limitations to the degree that you love yourself you won't limit yourself and so that's what i would i would do i would invite them to do the work do the inner work which we're talking about here as to understand yourself and to grow in deeper levels of freedom and happiness and most of all know that happiness is not contingent upon you getting somewhere you, you ask, you ask the best questions. And now that I said all of that, I would say this Devira. Uh -huh. Happiness is not dependent upon them getting somewhere at that stage. Often they think they have to amass, get titles, get this particular position, finish this in school. Then I'll be able to be happy. No happiness exists right within you right now. Be happy. And then those things, when you get them, you'll be more fulfilled because you are already fulfilled. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Any thoughts? That's it. I was just wondering what would you say to a group of young entrepreneurs going down the elevator? Thank and you. And I think they would get off excited. Say it again. I think they would get off the elevator excited and I think, motivated. Yeah, I think so, too. I would love for them to get off the elevator free to just be themselves. Yeah. I would love for thank them you. to... Go ahead. I think so. No, I said thank you, Dr. J. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I would love for them to get off the elevator free to just be themselves and to do the work every day just to be themselves because we, we all have spent too much time trying to be someone else, emulate someone else to show up, you know, as that person, because we think that person has arrived somewhere. And the very best thing that we can do for ourselves is to be ourselves and then learn to be, to keep improving who we are. Thank you for that question. I absolutely love, 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 love questions. Um, so if one advances confidently, right in the direction of our dreams and endeavors to live the life which we have imagined first of all we got to get clarity we got to get clarity what is the life you're imagining what is the life you're imagining to those young entrepreneurs who are on the elevator that the thing that they are pursuing it's outside of them and it doesn't matter if they get it in the sense that if they get it and they haven't done the inner work, that outside thing will never satisfy them. And we know this, we know this as, as humanity. If we just look at people in Hollywood who have access to everything, who have the status, who have the clout, who have the finances, who have quote unquote, the social standings. And yet they are some of the most unhappiest people that there is. They're some of the most unhappiest people. So it's not about the outside things. It's not about that, not ever. Now, it's good to pursue. It's good to have a dream. It's good to have goals. It's good to go after it. But it's you being satisfied with you is the biggest goal that we can give ourselves in life. All right, beloved, all right. 
So advance confidently in the direction of your dreams. Get clarity about your dream. Be in inspired actions. I keep whatever in sport inspires you. Music inspires me. Dance inspires me. Being in the presence of the most high inspires me. Talking, having life-giving conversations inspires me. Listening to life-giving podcasts, so on and so forth, inspires me. Loving on me inspires me. Mm. I'm inviting you to love on you. Oh, I did have one. What's this thing? And so one, one, one tool, when you mix clear thoughts with strong feelings like gratitude, belief, excitement, and expectation, you are launching rockets of your dream in the atmosphere. All right, all right. That was So we're going to wrap it up here. Let's wrap it up. Where are we going now? All right, our self-love mantra. We are irreplaceable, unrepeatable, remarkable miracles with our own special brand of brilliance. We are irreplaceable, unrepeatable, remarkable miracles with our own special brand of brilliance. We are impossible to replace. We are not able to be done again. We are uncommon and extraordinary. And you know what? Miracle. You, beloved, are a surprising and welcomed event. All right. Every show that I'm privileged to host, you are always invited to action towards your life goals. Beloved, advance um, confidently in the direction of your dream. Lean into the dream that Papa has dreamed for you. And help me to add more love into the world. Join more love. Please join the movement. Go to my website and click on join the movement and you'll see how to join the movement. And I invite you to get my books. Um, so this is the, um, <laughs> what's the name of the book? Thank you. Freedom is our birthright. Freedom is our birthright. Join us on, and then, and then the second book, more um, For the Love of um, DrKatherineJames.com. You can find me on any one of those social medias. And finally, let's read the Martin Luther King quote if we can find it. All right. Dr. Martin Luther King said, everybody can be great because everybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and verb agree to serve. You don't have to make, um, you don't have to know about Plato and Aristotle to serve. You don't have to know Einstein's theory of relativity to serve. You don't have to know the second theory of thermodynamics and physics to serve. You only need a heart full of grace and a soul generated by love. You can be that servant. Beloved, this has been Dr. Catherine E. James serving you for the love of it at WHPR TV Detroit. I love you. You know what? Excellence is what you want. Excellence is what you want.